Microscopes seem like complicated instruments, but when it comes down to it, all they are are lenses and maybe a light detector. So, behold, lenses and maybe a light detector. This is a webcam that I bought for $10, and we're going to turn this one into a microscope. This is just a DI chat cam. It was the cheapest one I could find with a manual focus. A different model would probably work just as well. Just by adjusting the focus really close, we can already see the subpixels on my desktop monitor. About 10 fit across the screen top to bottom. Since the screen is 1080 pixels tall, we have a magnification of almost 100 times. This is already good, but we can do one better. This webcam has two lenses, a big one that we can see and a small one behind it, close to the light sensor. A standard compound microscope also has two lenses, but the smaller one is in front, not behind like our webcam. To fix this, we can just turn the optics around so the smaller lens is closer to us. For this webcam, all that took was a little unscrewing to get the lenses free, and then putting it back together. Now instead of about 10 pixels, we see just two. This means we have 500 times magnification. The focus is still pretty bad, though. A microscope of this quality costs maybe 30 or 40 dollars online, so we've saved a decent amount. Let's look at some samples. First, let's get a sense of our scale. This is my phone screen, which is about 300 pixels per inch. We can see three next to each other, which means our field of view is a hundredth of an inch, or 250 microns. You can also see that keeping the image still is a challenge at this magnification. Here's some stuff on the lens that appeared when I was focusing the camera. It's probably just dust, but it looks a bit like microorganisms. This is probably the highest magnification material, since it's directly touching the lens. These are some dust fibers stuck to a label that I had lying around. It's jittery, but the sharpness is really good, and I think I'm resolving details just a few microns across. This is a business card. You can see the tiny multicolored dots that trick your eye into seeing a smooth color. For comparison, here's what it looks like to my normal webcam. I wanted to try out some dark field images, so here's a bit of residue from a smoothie. I shined the flashlight at an angle through the glass, so the background is dark, but the specks are bright. Here are some bubbles from the same glass, on a bright field. This is the bottom of my fingernail. It looks really cool and kind of gross. This video was inspired by a Hacteria article on DIY microscopy. I didn't follow their directions exactly, but I got a pretty good result. I encourage you all to give it a try and see what you can see. Thanks for watching.